Alright, welcome back guys, Angel of the Night 091 here coming at you with another Paldea Prologue competition battle. As you guys can see, our number of battles is 8, we are getting into battle number 9, and uh, we are actually 4 wins and 4 losses there currently. So, our current number is 8,647, our rating is only 1509, however we are going to hope to get into a more positive ranking. So we're going to get into the next battle here right now. And uh, as you can see with our team, if you guys are just tuning in, we've got ourselves our Bolivia Talonflame Maraiden. We've got Mimikyu, Annihilate, and Iron Bundle. We're going to go up against Crush, and he's got the duo that I actually despise the most of. <laughs> as you guys know, Tatsugiri and Dundozo, those are two Pokemon that I hate with a passion. So... We are going to go for the Maridon to lead off here. We're going to go with Talon Flame. We're going to boost up our speed. We are also going to have ourselves our Iron Bundle because of uh, the Freeze Dry. And then I think our best option is choosing Mimikyu here as well. So we're going to go in for our team here. I think Crush is going to definitely go with his Tatsugiri and Dundozo. However, I think we're going to see Mimikyu and his Maridon to lead off. So Now, if we are not correct... Uh, we might see his, I think it's, is that Chow Mein? Chow, Chow Mein? Corey, that's a Chinese food dish. What is the slug? Guys, post your comments. What is the slug's name? I know it's, I know it's something. Uh, it's gotta be something like that. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I think it's a grass type. We've got Cerebi open up here. Oh, it's Wo Chen, not Chow Mein. <laughs> Amber's giggling behind my green screen. It's hilarious. Mmm. <laughs> Slug jammy and <laughs> All right, he's gonna go in with his Murkrow and his Iron Bundle. We've got our Maridon and our Talon Flame Out. So we know right now he's gonna get a boost because of the electric terrain. His Quark Drive is going to activate. And uh, you guys know that uh, Murkrow does have Prankster, so that could pose to be a bit of an issue here for us. We're going to go for the Terrestrialization. We're going to go for the Electro Drift into the Iron Bundle. With the Talon Flame, of course, we're going to set up the Tailwind before we get it knocked out by that Hydro Pump onto the opposing Iron Bundle. Uh, I think we're probably going to end up seeing Freeze Dry or Blizzard instead, but uh, I could be wrong. Definitely do not want to take that chance, so we're going to go right for the Terra Fairy. We're going to go and get that Terrestrialization. And as you guys can see, we've got that good old sparkly giant heart and wings above his head. So that's exactly what we want to see. It definitely throws a lot of people off because I don't think there's too many people that use a fairy typing Maridon. But uh, we get our Tailwind off here. Murkrow gets his Tailwind off. And then with the boost of the electric terrain, I think his iron bundle is going to be able to attack first, which it does. In comes the hydro pump onto the talon flame, and of course it just one shots it. But the whole purpose of the talon flame is to get that tailwind up or even a will o wisp off onto an opposing Pokemon. The electro drift, of course, is going to go right into the uh, iron bundle, and as you guys can see, it's got the uh, focus sash, so it's going to be able to survive by one hit point. So with the fact that we have ourselves a Mimikyu coming in, uh, Mimikyu can then go for the Shadow Sneak off onto the um, <clears throat> uh, Iron Bundle, and then of course I can go for the Electro Drift off onto the Murkrow. So that is exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to go for the Shadow Sneak and the uh, Electro Drift. Now, Electro Drift might be a little bit overkill for the Murkrow, but uh, we definitely want to get him taken out. And in comes the Chow Main himself, Wo Chain. And uh, he's got the Tablets of Ruin, so that actually affects a lot of the attack stats of the opposing Pokemon. Now, he is a Dark-type, Grass-type, so if we go in with the Play Rock, we should be able to get some serious work. Or even with the Terra Blast onto him, that should definitely be uh, effective onto him. Uh, we get the Electro Drift off onto the Murkrow. Of course, Murkrow can't handle the electric typing and uh, just faints in that situation. Most people would put a Focus Sash onto the Murkrow, but the benefit of having it onto his Iron Bundle means he's actually able to bring it in as a, another Pokemon. So he brings in his own Maridon, and of course it uh, has the Electro um, Electric Surge as well. Doesn't get activated because we already have it activated. And this is one of those times where we're going to have to go for the Draco Meteor into the Maridon. 
Uh, with the Mimikyu, of course, I think we are going to have to go for the Play Rough into the Wo Chan. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Wo Chan. Wo Chan. All right, he's going to go for the Terra Typing onto his own Maridon. He also has Terra Fairy! This is a first for me. I haven't seen someone else use this either, so this is pretty interesting. So unfortunately for me, my Draco Meteor is actually completely obsolete here. I can't do anything right now in this situation. He's going to go in for the Electro Drift, and that should be super effective on me. Um, that is one powerful attack. So in comes the Play Rough onto the Wochen. And uh, that took him down to about half the hit points there. Well, Chen, of course, is able to attack with the knockoff. And it's actually going to knock off the life orb and break the disguise of my Mimikyu. So I am able to outspeed his uh, Maridon, which is good. However, I don't think my Electro Drift is going to be enough to take him out. I am, however, going to go for the Shadow Sneak onto the uh, Maridon as well. Uh, I want to get a little bit of damage off there just in case I'm able to take him out. Uh, his Maridon actually goes for the Dazzling Gleam, so he's able to speed me for some reason and uh, knocks out my Maridon. So I've only got Mimikyu left. I still have my Iron Bundle. Now, Iron Bundle, if I did bring him in, I don't know if it would have speed that uh, Maridon at this time, but it's definitely going to get hit by that Wochen. Um, so if I did go for like an Icy Wind, maybe it might do a little bit better. But uh, I don't think I'd be able to survive. And with the Tailwind petering out, um, that's not a positive outcome. All right, here we go. We've got our Iron Bundle. It's still onto the Electric Terrain. We've activated the Quark Drive. And uh, Iron Bundle speed was heightened, so that's fantastic. Now, if we can get um, a Hydro Pump off onto Maridon... We might be able to live by a Focus Sash. Nope. Nope, that's going to be game. Because we're not going to be able to survive anything from the Wu Chen. So unfortunately, we just got defeated by a Slug Chow Mein that's been in the fridge for too long. So. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. The Mold has attacked us. Taken out our frozen turkey. Ugh. And I thought we were all done of fridge issues. But that is going to be the match there, guys. If you guys enjoyed the battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to post your comments in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from you guys and what you guys think about the match. What would you guys do differently in this battle? What Pokemon would you have brought? What attacks would you have chosen? What swaps would you have made? So let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking and if there's ways that I can improve my battling style or skills. All right, take care. Have a good one. And as always... Throw out that old chow man. <laughs> and Amber's giggling like a little schoolgirl. See you later.